Hi guys, this is Reptile Sky and ngayon Sisit up ulit tayo ng another vivarium for isang bearded dragon And today, i-introduce ko sa inyo ang isang new product Isang new product? Isang new product oh, Sige, okay na, let's go with that New product para sa mga bearded dragon Isang bearded dragon basic bioactive kit So, let's run down muna So, first is RS Sub 3 Arid Substrate Mix na a big bag What's RS Sub 3? It's an arid substrate mix na retains burrow, uh, stay, stays dry, keeps humidity low, and most of all, arid plants, mga grass, cactus, mga succulents, dun sila nagtatrive, okay? We got two of that, para sa ganito kalaki. Next is arid plants, mga ganyan. Perfect yan. Hardscape. Hardscape elements. So normally, dalawa lang ini-include ko for pero for this build, since special yung ano, special kasi pangalawang order niya sa akin. So order lang kayo lagi para merong special offer. Tatlo yung binigay ko sa kanya and moss. Alam ko. Alam ko, hindi tumutubo ang moss sa arid sa, ano, sa arid environment. Pero you will find some promise. Hope to that. Dejo. And lastly is the isopods, which is later kukunin ko. So, for starters, i-ano muna natin, lalagay muna natin ng ating RS Sub 3 Substrate. Ang labo dyan ang bunting. Very good, thank you. Oh yeah, nilagyan ko pala ng coco pig layer. Ito sa part na ito. Ang diba, punong puno, saya saya. So, itong part mo na yung anonin natin. Uh, I-fill in natin. Kasi, what we will do is, on this side, we'll put our heat mat. Yay! Heat mat! Pakasaya, may heat mat ng reptile sky. So, this is no more heat mat. Wow. Dito, dito, <laughs> Yan, very good. So, mangyayari niyan is pag natabunan siya ng substrate, i-heat niya yung substrate and this will be turned on only at night. Okay? Okay? Okay. Second bag, I doubt na may gagamit natin buo. So ayun man, bakit napakakapal naman ng subsheet na gagamitin natin? Sabi ni Josh Walter of the BioDude, the deeper the bio sa, bio, bio sa active. bioactive subsheet is, mas effective ang bioactivity niya. Yep, good to him. I don't push up. That's why, pinapalo ko yung steps niya. Anyways, ganda na yung amount ng substrate niya. Yung mga sam na nag-fall on lang sa grass. Ay, grass. Sa glass, sliding. Basta yun. 
Okay, nalimutan ko sabihin kanina, oh, sa kit, meron tayong included na areas layers. So, lift beddings and dried moss. Yes, nag-include talaga tayo na ito. Hindi dahil sa nakikita to sa area environment, pero ito, sa, ito ay sa mga essentials ng bioactivity. So, first off is we may add uh, thin layer lang nito. Banda dito. Okay. Para dito yung mag-serve ng humid chuchu. What I mean is, dyan yung magiging humid spot nyo. And dito yung magiging mas dry area nyo. And then, let's mix. Okay, okay, okay. And next is, lift liters. Lift liters are essential sa bioactive enclosure because not only it not only na sinisimulan niya ang ang uh, bioactivity ng enclosure but also nagiging food siya for the sprinkles and isopods na isiseed natin later kasi nga nakalimutan ko silang kunin very good yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we'll add more Pressure. Next, the hardscape. Hardscapes, sa politol ko nasa sabi, they are the skeleton of the enclosure. Sila nagde-determine ng structure, yung pinaka-overall uh, skeleton, ba't yung skeleton niya, gets nyo ba? When I say skeleton, I mean the structure. Kung anong shape ng enclosure, makikita nyo na, ah, okay, ito yung centerpiece, and this is the, ano, accent piece nyo, yung ganyan yun. Ang kailangan, matali na tayo, panit gagawa tayo ng ano ng mga hardscape kasi tulad na to I placed it here na elevated para mas malapit siya sa basking light okay this is another to be placed here para may tambayan siya sa malapit sa UVB area Okay, very good. Nice, nice. Looking good, looking good. Mm -hmm. Next is planting the plants to keep the enclosure alive. This is our black grip. Let's be careful na hindi makapa na i-place ang plant sa ilalim ng heat mat kasi mamamatay ang root systems na ito. So, kailangan lang keep in mind na ni Kitata. Oh yes! Ready? Oops.
then. Wow. Clumsy. Wow. Sure, we can do it here. Nagbiko kayo ako ng den sa ilalim. Hindi magiging warm hide niya. Since mas malapit siya sa heat mat. Right? Right. This is where the excess substrate will come right here Okay, so right now we'll be adding the isopods na sana kanina ko pa ginawa. Here, you can see isopods here. Kapag isingid natin sila away from the hotspot. Yep. Hindi ka lang makita. Makita nyo sila, promise. There, there. See them? See them? So right now we'll be using my girl Matilda as a model. Hello. So pretty. She'll enjoy the home. But I, I cannot. I, I, I.
Oh, nga naman. Okay, I got low expectations sa most na to because it will stay dry and keep the humidity low pero at least it will serve as a food but once na matuyo sila and magmubulok it serve as a food sa isopods na sinid natin a while ago, okay? Thank you Teresa for I don't know and once again this is Eman from Reptile Sky and again I'm presenting you the bioactive basic bioactive kit for bearded dragon Thank you.